Ooh, was you nervous at the end? Yeah, I was, man. And uh, like, uh, like that guy there was just saying when he took off Torreira, Torreira looked like he wasn't going off. He was like, he, was, he, he was, was cut, cause I, Torreira just stood there, wasn't looking over yeah, to the well, touchline. I was line, thinking like, to myself, surely they've held up the wrong number. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because I was like, it can't be Torreira coming off. He, um, he's such a good player. Like he's, he's given us everything that we've been missing for the last maybe yeah. 12, 13 years since Gilberto Silva. I really do think he's making a major difference to this team. And what you saw when he come up, I, I'm, you know me, I've said to you before, I'm a big fan of Gunduzi, but in that situation when we actually were pinning them back, mm. it's like he took off Torreri, he took off uh, Iwobi, who's, who in the second half played really well and whose pace was pushing them back. And we were under the cosh for the last 10 minutes. Mm. And man, when that free kick went over at the end, <laughs> fire, I celebrated like a goal. It was, yeah, it was, it was you know, nerve-wracking. It's, it's the way as well. You, you know, I, I watched a game the other day, Stanislas, he scored one of those. Yeah, yeah. And the way, even just the way he was shaped and everything, I was just like, oh. But thankfully, he missed it. And a massive three points for Arsenal, and especially ahead of that big game against Spurs. Yeah, and they, they put in a really impressive performance against Chelsea last night. So going into that game, mm. you don't want to be dropping more points again. You know, we've drawn the last three. So it was important that we got, we got the win today. And I think next week, um, it's Tottenham at home. We have quite a good record yeah. against them at home. It's a way where we, we've tended to struggle in recent years. So I think we have to go into that game confident. We have to, we have to go into that game to win. And I think that's, that's what we did today. Like he mm. played, he, he sh uh, Unai Emery showed Bournemouth a lot of respect today. The way he went to three at the back. He knows Kolasinac isn't the best defensively, but he's good going forward. Both mm. our goals came from him. So he put him as a wing back. So there are three defenders there to cover him if he gives the ball away. Uh, that's a compliment to how well Bournemouth have done this season. And even, you know, the goal that they scored. Mm. Yeah, you know, people can talk about what defenders should have done, what Iwobi should have done. So what a finish, great do you know goal. what I mean? It just like... Great counter-attack. It was, and, and these are all like young English players as well, mm. but because they play at a club like Bournemouth, they might not get the respect that they deserve. So it's, it's good to see, um, you know, uh, from their perspective that you've got a manager like Eddie Howe who can do it with little money, you know, small infrastructure at a club. And he should really be, no disrespect, but he should be at a big top six club at, at one point. He's a really, really good manager. And they play good football. First half, mm. we were crap, but again, slow. How many times do we say it this season? We start mm. slowly, um, but we need to do much better against Tottenham. We can't start slowly because mm. you saw Chelsea started really badly yesterday and they were 2 0 down after 15 minutes. So, you know, every top six team in the Premier League can take the other team apart. So we need to really, really go into that game. Mm. Yeah, with some focus, man. All right, and just before you go, yeah, you got an event to tell us about? So next Sunday, after the North London derby, um, I box at a club in West London and they're having a few financial problems. So we're trying to throw in a comedy night to help them raise a bit of money. Mm. Uh, it's going to have White Yardy there, big Arsenal fan, man like yeah, Hacks, yeah. big Tottenham fan. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to see who's having the last laugh on that night. So I don't know, maybe we could put a, a link under the video or something yeah, where yeah, people, can, people can buy their tickets. Should be a good laugh and hopefully it'll be... Uh, us bantering them off. Hax is a good laugh as well, yeah, actually, even though he's a Tottenham fan. Yeah, 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 but he's yeah. all right. But and White Yard is brilliant. Yeah, shout out, man, like Hax and White Yard. So it should be <laughs> a good right. night. So if anyone wants tickets to come along and support the support the club, it's good. It gets a lot of kids off the street, you know, mm. in that part of West London. It's done a lot over the last four. Which club's years. that one? Uh, all Stars Boxing Gym. All Stars, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we know yeah, All Stars. Yeah. My brother used to box there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so they're having yeah. the, the thing next okay. week. You know, they've had guys like Ashley Theophane go through their doors. Mm. Mike Tyson trained, used to train there when he used to come to London. So, you know. that Aki used to be there? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I know yeah, the club, yeah, man. Yeah. We're right there on Harrow Road. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. i got two tickets for Robbie set aside. <laughs> All right. About to do a photo shoot for our new merch with our new logo, AFTV. You've seen it. We're at Unique Capture Studios in Milton Keynes. 